Alright guys, just a bit of an update, as I said, um, I'll use the camcorder for the next few videos. Um, it's been an interesting day, uh, let's put it that way. We we're still doing the paperwork for the visa stuff right now. And one of the interesting things that came out today was the four bedroom property we're in at the minute uh, that we rent. It's actually only got a what do you call it? The there's like a land registry number, and it's down as a one bedroom apartment. Because uh, they they've obviously had all the construction work done and not updated the land registry, which means there's probably some tax issues around it as well. Not my house though, so not my problem. But it does really make it a little bit difficult for sorting April's mother's visa out for today. It's not a major thing because uh, we'll just book in a hotel and do something else, but it just ends up another delay in the system. Uh, I took the car in today as well because it's it's had this, um, there's like a, it looks like like exhaust fumes because what it is, is a part of the EU legislation they had this extra filter on the exhaust system which basically builds up the soot and then when you take it, the car in for a long run, it burns it at high temperature. So it basically stops all that black smoke and soot that comes out of vehicles. The problem is, the alarm came on um, and it wouldn't clear, so I took it in. And then I've had the traditional mechanic thing of them adding extra faults. This was the interesting thing, because when I went in um, with an Astro, what you can do is you can turn the key on. And if you hold the accelerator and the, uh, the brake and the accelerator down, turn the key to just before the last turn was for the engine to fire up, it will give you all the faults on the system. Now there's only two things on there, there, were, there was the smoke issue and then there was a mechanical spanner which they hadn't cleared when they did the service before we bought it. Um, so basically that's all it was, but it, the owners of the vehicle um, the garage we bought it from, sorry, they have another company do their servicing and they tried to pull a fast one today because obviously I've checked the system, I've checked, I know there is, there's only the fault related to the smog, it just needed resetting because it's not affecting the engine and it seemed running fine. Um, but now it's got two other faults which are cable disconnects. Hmm. Reminds me of the Philippines. Now the interesting thing is, I said when I went there, um, you know, I said, oh, you've got to pay for the diagnostic. I said, I don't have to pay for nothing. This is all under warranty anyway. I says, um, but it said, oh, well, somebody's got to pay. I said, look, that's between you and the, the garage. So I phoned the garage up and got the garage to call them. And I said, they're on about these other diagnostics. And they'll pay the 20 euros. and says, oh, yeah, it's another 30. So I said, I'm not paying 37 euros. I says, I want a diagnostics list as well. I've paid for, we paid 20 euros today for diagnostics and they haven't got a diagnostics report. Then they're complaining that they hadn't taken a picture off the system. Um, so instantly alarm bells were going for me and then the next thing is, oh, you'll have to pay the 37 a second. No, I don't. It's under warranty for a first thing. But the fact is that the Garys didn't want to pay it either. Instantly told me that they'd added the faults because the Garys didn't want to pay it and, you know, I could hear them arguing on the phone. So, I've looked, like I said, I looked up the faults and what it is, is people, the cables have been disconnected. Very simple fault, takes five minutes and they say, oh, we'll have to have the car all day, me, all this. I hate this crap. Um, Philippines does it, Spain does it. Um, it's a rogue trader thing. Um, so... I'm probably going to run it over to Andy's garage, even though it's under warranty, I would rather just get somebody I know to just reconnect the twat things they've disconnected, um, pay for it, and know the car's fine. Because there's nothing wrong with the car, that's the thing, they, they, they've had this in the Philippines as well, they'll disconnect something, so in a couple of days there's another fault, and then you bring it back, and then they'll fix that, and they'll disconnect something else, and they'll just keep doing it. It's, it is criminal. Uh, but anyway, so that's... That's that done. Um, what else has come up today? Oh, um, <laughs> it's this was quite funny actually. Um, I did the video about when I was going back to the Philippines, and I know old JLB buys 
his traffic and he's actually bought over 300 dislikes to put on that video <laughs> and I know it's him um, because me and Jay had a joke about something recently and because Jeff did the, the, this video on how to make money in the Philippines um, and it's like how to make big bucks blah 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 and then even in his comments it's like it's not big bucks is it uh, even you know it's a few pesos basically um, the reality is, as I do tell people, Philippines genre, you're not going to make big money on Philippines genre. Even if you look at the bigger channels that are in the Philippines genre specifically, they do not make big money. The ones that do make big money are crossed over into other platforms or they're doing videos and other subjects which have a higher following. My personal view is to have multiple channels on multiple things. For example, if you had a channel on drones had a channel on uh, vehicle repairs, had a channel on uh, food, cooking, whatever. Um, each one of those will generate their own revenue, but the reason I'd say put them on separate channels, if you're doing it for money, is that they become very specific in their own niche, but also if you do things like politics or whatever, it doesn't affect people because the politics would not be on the food show, the politics would not be on the drone show, the politics would not be on any other show, it would only be on like, like I do on here. I would quite happily openly talk about anything. Um, but this is the thing, you've got to bear that in mind. Um, yeah, Philippines niche, A, is saturated, B, um, you've got certain individual individuals, that's what person buys 300 dislikes to put on my video. Um, that are buying views and subscribers and everything else and uh, I mean I've got no issue with people doing whatever they, they need to do but the whole point is there are no um, expert in any of this um, I'm not an expert on it I mean this is the thing I do make money online quite well but I would not say I'm an expert I'm not raking in hundred two hundred thousand dollars a month off YouTube I would say that even those guys are not experts, it's they've developed a team of experts around them because at the end of the day, there's certain things I'm good at. Marketing is not one of them. Um, there's a lot of stuff that different people, graphics, you see I don't, wait, I don't bother doing most of my thumbnails. I don't spend more than two minutes on a thumbnail. But other channels will spend a lot of time and effort in there. I, honestly, for me, I don't have the time. And I do know some people do their um, titles in a very tabloid way and then often the content has nothing to do with it. Um, I would say over time YouTube's picking that stuff up anyway because it's low value content. But anyway, just something to bear in mind. But I thought that was quite funny. Uh, was, I, was I bothered? Actually no, it was quite funny. I, um, it's just very humorous that things get to that level. For me, it doesn't bother me at all. But um, I do know who did it because he's, like I said, he's probably spent a couple of dollars buying um, 300 dislikes. Well, more than that. But it doesn't matter. Who cares? Uh, so this week is looking okay. As I said, immigration issue, little hurdle. Car issue, little hurdle. Um, but everything else is all going well and as you can see this is the first test run with a the camera there is no external audio so it's not an external mic that plugged into this it is literally all out the camcorder just so I could show you um, what it's like it's not got one of my big lights on this either this is just a normal room light so there's nothing that's why it looks like I've got heavy bags under my eyes because the lights coming down but I wanted to just show you what the camera operates like and thanks for watching.